What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about armor and shields in Vainglory. So basically what happens is as you buy more of armor or shield, you're actually going to get less benefit from it. So I think the best way to actually show this to you guys is to give you a little example of how it works in a scenario here. So this is going to be a little bit of math, but it's actually very important for you guys to understand this to become better players. Because if you're building a tank, say Catherine, then it's going to get very, very hard to actually negate damage if you keep building armor and keep building shield. So first things first, let's look at a simple scenario here. Say that you have 86 armor to begin with and the person is auto attacking you with 400 damage. So the formula to calculate the actual damage taken is the basic attack divided by 1 plus the armor or shield depending on if it's a uh, crystal power or a basic attack coming in. But we're going to assume that it's a basic attack. Um, but it, that is the armor divided by 100 and that equals out to become 215 damage. So you get 400 divided by one plus 86 divided by 100, and that all equals out to 215 damage. That should be on your screen right now. I'm gonna try and get some uh, infographics up for you guys so you have something to look at and you can actually follow my math here. But then you say, well, that's a lot of damage I'm taking there. I wanna negate that. You buy 60 armor. Then you have to recalculate this. You do your basic attack, which is still 400 divided by 1 plus 146, which is your new armor amount, divided by 100, and that gives you 162 damage taken. And that's a reduction of 52 damage. That's pretty awesome, right? Uh, you buy 60 armor and you reduce by 52 damage. But the thing, that, the thing that you need to understand here is that you buy 60 armor, you don't actually reduce by 60 damage, which is really, really interesting. So you say, that's working pretty well, I want to buy more armor so that I can negate the damage even better. Then you're going to have a 400 damage basic attack, and say you have 120 armor now, then it's going to be 1 plus 206 armor, because you have your 86 to begin with, plus the 120 that you currently have. And that all divided by 100, and that comes out to equal... 131 damage taken and that's only a reduction of 31 so basically what you can learn from this is that the more armor that you buy the less it's actually going to be worth to you and this is actually an exponential equation and the reason that it works like this is because you can never get to a point where you take zero damage from an auto attack or from a crystal power attack that's basically just so that you cannot become invulnerable in the game because that would be super super OP and this means that you can't stack armor as well as you can stack health. So if you guys are starting to get to the point where armor is becoming less useful to you, you should maybe think about building some health because that doesn't actual, actually level off at any point. So now we have to look at something else in the game and that is called pierce damage. So pierce damage is basically damage that is taken away from your normal damage and just ignores all enemy armor. So the formula for pierce damage is percentage of pierce times the basic attack plus one minus percentage of pierce times the basic attack divided by one plus armor divided by 100. So basically you have the percentage of damage that is ignoring armor and then you have the percentage of damage that is uh, being taken into account by the armor. So the reason that this is really important to understand is because the more armor someone buys, the more cost effective armor pierce becomes. But if they're not really high on armor, armor pierce is actually a very generally useless thing to buy because if they don't have armor that pierce percentage is just going to be pretty much the same as the normal percentage as far as damage getting through and it's going to be a lot less damage compared to say a um, I don't know a sour blade or 150 damage from that so that's basically just the general thing I wanted to get out to you guys I hope that the math made sense to you guys and if you have any questions about it feel free to ask me down in the comments down below because I know this is a lot more technical than I normally go in this sort of stuff and uh, I definitely want to help you guys understand it because it's a very important part of the game to understand the math behind all the damage so that you can actually understand if what you're buying is the most cost effective thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscription and become a lieutenant today and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.